Hello everyone, it is your Imperial Majesty Emperor Candy Cults of Uncanny here. Today we're going to be watching a call Rome 2 Coliseum Land Battle 2v2 tournament replay between uh, Cop Cells and the Hungry Wolves. I'm playing as Navy I am a teammate is playing as RDA. This is the second battle to the match up against the uh, Seleucid and Kush. Now I have uh, three Levy Freeman, a uh, Spear Brother, six Spear Swords, two Celtic Slingers, a Noble Horse, a No Storm, three Mighty Horse, and no, a Celtic used to a Celtic Hunters, and a Mercenary Germanic Scout Rider. <coughs> My teammate Artie has Illyrian Noble Hoplites, two of them. Uh, three Illyrian Marines, and then Hoplites, three Mercenary Hoplites, uh, three more, six Illyrian Marines, three with one Chevron, and four Mercenary Axers, two Slave Slingers, and two Mercenary Tarantine Cav. <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot to check their stuff. So they have, uh, uh, Kutch has three Slave Slingers, two Slave Infantry, four Swordsmen, Five Shotel Warriors, an Armored Shotel Warrior, two Kushite Royal Guard, and two Armored Desert Cavalry. So Lucid has five Thrax Swords, a Persian Light Archer, three Hillmen, two Royal Peltas, two Side Chariots. <coughs> Well, what we planned here was we stick to the building and we uh, a strength so they can't get past to us and then <coughs> I, I uh, beat them one down by one. Originally I took a, ner a nerve yard to counter Kush's Shotel warriors but uh, I, both of us completely f ignored that and forgot that and because RDA was used to hold down to uh, throw axe swords because they can have uh, chariots and you can stop them with like RD spear and they have a lot of javelins and uh, Nervii doesn't have any ar a lot of armor like my fierce swords have 45 armor so I could easily beat down a show tower which has like uh, how much armor piercing which has a uh... yeah they has uh, the 12 armor piercing that's a lot of armor piercing <coughs> but both of us just completely ignored that and forgot about it, and I went up against Seleucid, which we we knew they would have been cha bring chariots because we actually restarted. <coughs> and uh, we're not we don't have I only have this one horse and this oath stone. An oath stone wouldn't stop it. You need a heavy spears, or uh, you need a very heavy spear to stop to stop the chariots. And then look, medium me melee infantry, so I'm about to get wrecked. Well, unless I get javelins off, which is... Uh, he does something pretty successful. Now, over here... Shotel warriors with armor piercing. 108 armor, 65 armor, 75 armor. That's a lot of armor our dig has. That's why I... I he, he could have stopped chariots, but uh, bigger, bigger miss micro or mistake for my part, and I miss microing with my mercenary genetics cat riders, and he miss micro with his mercenary tarantine calf. Which yeah, I don't think he should have brought that. I mean, I suggested it to him, but two learned marines would have done much better because two of these are one thousand. Anyways, yeah, you can see he doesn't have a skirmish mode on and he gets caught in and pretty much 19 calves go bye bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Okay. <coughs> well, I'm just playing with him and getting. Miss my code, but yeah, this is. It's not that interesting. So I'll just uh, fast forward. What you see here is I just ch charging that. Uh, slave infantry because I would just beat them and I'm just gonna withdraw over here Seleucid is pushing up 
having a bit of skirmish, his tank teams are getting wrecked, doing pretty little to no damage. Hello, game. Okay, let wow, whatever that happened, let's come back where we left off. I, I didn't anticipate for two side chariots, I only anticipated for one. So yeah, they caught me really off guard there, and... Cush's build is a complete counter to Arde's build. Big roof. Now I push out my host on this side to try to get a quick uh, clean on a hillman. But, well, it doesn't work out, and, uh... Actually, over here... Uh, if he, they got three slingers, Rd has two, so Rd is easily going to lose that slinger fight, no matter how hard he tries. So Lucid is pulling back, baiting me into a trap. Actually, I shouldn't have moved, because... Right now... I'm protected by this wall over here. And over here, I got this Germanic Scout Rider pushing. What he does is he's trying, he's pretending to go like push everything up here. So I actually split my army into two to try to uh, flank him from uh, both sides, which is the mistake I made. First mistake. Well, I made multiple mistakes, but that's one of them. Kush has his cavalry unit spread out, ready to rear charge, but rear charging the hoplite so that the expert charge defense isn't going to do all. How much? I'm getting some free shots of Pillman from the rear with my slingers. At least, I'm not. Well, never mind, I'm not doing anything. They have 15 armor and they're not losing a single man. Okay, yeah, they're starting to lose a little bit of men. Yeah, you see, I split through. He could have easily charged his chariots through and just. Blissery could have my entire army, or he could have charged this chariot here and that chariot here. Well, I was lucky he didn't, so then I quickly reform because they were tagging along. <coughs> my mistake, which I didn't realize, oh, actually, both of us didn't realize after the game, which, as I was saying, is these Chota Warriors against RD, and now I have no armor to stop it, I have nothing to stop his chariot. I uh, there's no. Uh, uh, Nervia doesn't have any heavy spears. They don't even have medium spears. Wait here. Like, this is just light units, medium light. They're not gonna stop chariots. Yeah, basically, they're targeting me first. So, after his uh, chariot charges, which I'm gonna try to block, defend, the, his cavalry is just gonna come here and. I'll try uh, I'll just eat my missiles. Yes. The best term suited is for eat. Oh, I forgot he had uh, three zero spears. Which is a complete counter to fierce swords. You can beat a fierce sword with Hillman and three zero spears. Easily. Just Hillman stop the fierce swords and three zero spears uh, jab the hell out of them. Yeah, he charges him, so I charges him, and then... Big boo-boo on my side. Watch, watch, watch. He, he shifts his entire battle line like this, and he pushes through here. What I do is I stop with an Osoi, right? Because Osoi can just wreck a helmet. You get a javelin in the rear of this helmet, which is pretty good. But they got a javelin in the rear of my spear brother. Thanks, fear brother. I have 50 armor and I have more armor than that fear sword and you lose 30 men in one javelin. Okay, not gonna question it. You get a javelin on my mighty horse, only getting three of them though. I just charged through that helmet. But, uh, yeah. When you got two Cushet Royal Guard and two armor desert cav up against my noble horse, ah, uh, my noble horse is getting wrecked. Yeah. So yeah, I just try to clean up 
Except, well, he is doing a very smart move. When his units are wavering, he pulls up his chariots to charge into here. Because, <clears throat> because I'm, I just finished fighting, I don't have the time to get my javelins out. And so they just... Look, look, look. They're not taking a single loss from a whole volley of archers. He just plows through. I put cavalry counterattack, but it doesn't do anything. Tires are broken, but you know, it is what it is. 120 kills already. 150. 160. What can I do about it? Absolutely nothing. They're just plowing through me. 230 kills. That's a, that is a lot of kills. 250. 260. Yeah, and here comes Kush cleaning up my general and my archers. 280. And they're still not breaking. Look at that. 40 kills on my oath sword. 300 kills, and they're still running. They are still running. Celtic Slingers die. Over here, I'm telling you I'd eat the bush because I'm pretty much dead at this point. 320 kills, and he finally dies. Well, over here, I could have actually, we could have actually had a comeback. <coughs> my Genax Cat Riders was able to get some volleys off of it. But, my other big mistake is because uh, before I actually got caught over here, so I turned off a uh, skirmish mode and manually controlled it. Well, skirmish mode is not on, so when they get close enough, this chariot just wrecks it because I forgot to turn skirmish mode off. The uh, 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 Kush is cleaning up my my uh, my archers, and my general is dying. Wow, 60 morale. That's a lot of morale for medium melee infantry. Well, yeah, and then he, here comes uh, Thug Swords beat Fierce Swords. Also, they lack 5 more morale. Because in the extended combat, Thug Swords easily win. Especially when they get up to. Uh, uh, look at him, and I killed 4, he killed. 13 of my men with one volley 20 over here and uh, Over here they didn't get a volley so yeah, I'm getting absolutely wrecked Well, they're losing right now, but they can easily come back Actually, it's the royal pelt that's shooting me. Yeah, he brought like he has five hybrid units three turrets two uh, two royal pelt that's like enough to get 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 kill um Two and a half units of, of fierce swords. Yeah, scythe chariots. I just oh, I actually got one scythe chariot. For my first jolly, but I don't see it, and he just r uh, plows through my entire unit of horse, and yeah. And of course, he's gonna go for my Celtic slingers, which of course is not going to get any shots because why would they get any shots off? So I'm getting hit in the rear by Thero spears. Killing by killed by Thrax. Over here, uh, Kushites, Western Axe losing to Swordsmen because they're backed up with Kushite slaves. Axe lose to Swordsmen, anyways. Actually, Axe are doing fine, but until the Shield of Warriors pops up. Because Axe, Axes have an armor of 65. So, yeah, at this point, it's pretty much GG. Army's destroyed. My teammate won't be able to kill two armies, especially when he's already in. You got you got five shield helm, one armor shield on the field. So yeah, pretty much GG. I'm gonna play this fast forward. I'm just getting cleaned right now. My teammate is doing his best to hold on, but it is of course of no use. Because we are outmatched and we are outmanned.
Yeah, GG to the Hungry Wolf for this, uh, pretty fine Blitz rig. Getting absolutely destroyed, basically. We lost. Right out of the tournament now. GG. This is gonna be the last episode of the series of tournaments. Well, if you wanted to uh, take a look up close, Solicit is moving up to help Coach finish off RDA. And yeah. Our dude is doing his best to hold, but he's getting chopped off, and that is the end of this match. Well, let's go to the kill stream. Nothing much exciting on our part, but the enemy team did excellent. Yeah, my champion, well, I got 80 more kills than him, LMAO. Because this extra look at Shota Warriors up against uh, these armored units. Swordsman did great against Axe Warriors, Slingers did great. Anything in, um, does anything in, uh, Coach except the slaves did good. Look at these tires, man. Persian Light Archer is doing okay-ish. Hillman doing what Hillman usually do. But Peltas is still fully alive. Zaxo is doing great. Uh, these two Therios doing okay. This one not doing that great. I mean, what did you expect? We got absolutely trashed. Anyways, that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching. It's uh, Coliseum Tournaments. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.